Hi, it's Hans Schumann, the Master for Living Coach here. It's New Year's Eve 2018 and every year at this time I go through the same ritual of reflecting on the previous year and planning the next one. And I think it's a really beautiful way to end a year because it makes me really appreciate what has happened during the year and more strategic in terms of planning for the next one and more excited about the next one as well. If you're inspired to follow me, then I've got a tool that you can download that will help you with exactly that. There is a link in the post to this video and if you click on it, it will allow you to download this template here. I call it an annual planner. And let me talk you through the process, how it works. It starts with a reflection of 2018 and you will see how there are various um, segments of the life listed here. For example, your career, your family, relationship, fitness, and so on. And what I do here for each of these segments, I write down um, the achievements, the successes I experienced in those areas. And some of them may be big, some of them may be small. It could be um, amazing business successes, great new client that I um, created, or it could be a travel, a travel to a foreign country that I enjoyed, or maybe some quality time I spent with loved ones. And the reason why I find it useful to do this exercise is that I at least find it so easy to forget. I mean, I rush through life, that probably most people, and sitting down and reflecting on what happened in each area of my life really brings back to me what happened in 2018, appreciate what happened, and then celebrate my success. Equally, I write down if things didn't go according to plan, if I didn't um, manage to achieve my goals. And if that's the case, I ask myself, okay, how important are these goals really? And if they are important, what went wrong? Do I need to change my strategy? And do I maybe want to roll them over and try again in the next year? The second part of the form, um, looks forward into 2019 and you will see there's the same life segments listed here. And in this section, I write down what I want to create uh, in 2019 for each of those life areas. The reason I do this is if I don't go through this exercise, life just happens to me and I want more. I want to be a creator of my life. So by thinking um, what I want to create in 2019 now, it enables me to then plan for, create strategy, diarize certain events, and that makes it more likely that they will actually happen. When you do write down your goals, it's important that they are specific and that they are measurable, that they're exciting, that they're relevant to you. If you want to have some tips about how to choose and set goals effectively, then there is another link in the post to this video um, to an article where I really share with you everything you need to know about goals, including um, what to do if things don't go according to plan and where to find the problem. And the last part of this template, um, this box here uh, encourages you to think about potential obstacles. What could get in the way of you achieving your goals? And this is a little bit of a reality check. How much do you really want it? And what could get in the way? And once you've identified potential pitfalls, you can plan for them and create a strategy that make it more likely that those things don't really become an issue. And the very last box here, may help with this. This allows you to identify your strengths and your resources that will support you in the achievement of your goals. If you want to go deeper into this, the article that I mentioned about goal setting will give you much more information. There's quite a lot of detailed and deep stuff in there that will empower you to really create change in 2019 just by setting effective goals and knowing what to do if you encounter problems. If you're in a relationship, whether that's a business relationship or a personal relationship, then I have another tool um, for you that will really transform your relationship and bring it to the next level. And you can use it to plan for 2019 together. I'm going to share this in a few weeks. If you don't want to wait until then, do send me a message and I send it to you now. That's all for today. I wish you an amazing start of 2019. May you create an abundance of love growth and success. Bye.